Hello all, Havoc here. Let's get ready to play some Space Engineers. Okay, so in our last episode, we, uh, we screwed around here with the, uh, we're going to call this guy the, uh, still kind of torn on the name. I like Planet Crawler. I really do. Um, yeah, Hulk is kind of cool because it's green, as I said before. Um, so, I, but I do kind of like Planet Crawler because it's kind of where we're going with it. So, I think that's what we're going to go with. Uh, we're going to go with Planet Crawler, at least for now. Uh, keep the suggestions coming. Uh, if there's something better comes along, we might swap out the name. So, let's go here. Okay. a uh, kind of informal name, Planet Crawler, but it is what it is. I kind of like it because that's what this guy does. So the sun's just coming up. As you can see, got some solar panels on here. Uh, we moved those from the uh, the base right over there. They're the ones that were along the side over there. So I took those off and put them up here. You see we have two ships docked on top, and that brings us to down below. I'm going to start building a ramp down here. Uh, let's see, Andy Green was asking why aren't we putting a garage or a hangar off the back. And I was like, well, it's going to get to that, but, well, let's get to it. So, also, um, let's see, who is the one who said this? Um, Archangel uh, was saying let's put some glass here instead of the wedges. So, I cut those out, and uh, we're going to put some glass there later need to go get some girders from the base but uh, these guys are looking pretty good I think about what I'm gonna do is uh, swap these two out later for another hinge block and to have this section here fold down also so make the ramp a little bit more of a give it more of a transition at least that's the plan we'll work on it at least so today what I like to do is uh, yeah we're going to get some glass put here, and then I want to pick a direction and start going that way. So I think towards the moon. Kind of thinking. I do want to stop off at one of the planet or one of the lakes and uh, collect some ice so we can get some hydrogen because uh, you guys are pointing out that in the last patch, hydrogen doesn't exhaust in like a couple seconds anymore so we can actually use our jetpack occasionally so that's something we're going to do as well so yeah so hang on here we go uh, so we're going to start out we're going to go grab some girders and some glass so we can put those windows in inventory Grab some of those, and as much as that as we can carry. Whatever we don't use, we'll put inside the inventory of uh, the crawler. I need to turn those off too. Let me do that here real quick. Better. All right. Uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah, glass. And two by three, three by three, one by one, flat and inverted. Hopefully we got this the right direction. Uh, it looks like we did. Awesome. First shot even. All right. So in the last episode, um, we was talk about using our atmospheric thrusters for motion, and we can, except for that's going to use a ton of energy that we don't really have yet. So that's got to be a thing. Got to watch out for. So control panel. Oh hey. 
Guess we can go climb in our chair and just do it from there. We need to get some cameras on this thing. That's what we need to do. Rear door, reverse. We've got a bat. You guys do what you need to do. Doors up. All right, we're good. All right, so I think we should head towards the moon. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to record, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut away. So uh, if anything fun happens, I can bring you guys back. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel for a ways and see what happens, see if we can find something cool between here and there. So see you on the other side of the cut. Okay, so... Yeah, it didn't take long. Um, we got stuck. <laughs> uh, we literally just made it a very, very short distance, and then we got stuck. Um, and then I started thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I'm on top of a ravine. There's no way that that planet crawler is getting down. Uh, this is a giant plateau, and there's one very small, narrow area that's cragged out to get down. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try to do some scouting and see about putting some uh, atmospheric thrusters on that thing to make it adequate enough to make it like, I don't know, let's say hop this ravine from there to there, or maybe from there to there, um, to get it to a more decent level area. So I'm going to do some recon here. And this is a direction I haven't head yet. This is also the direction I want to go, which is towards the moon. I believe this is one of the poles is this direction because the moon always has sun on it so um, one of my big goals is to get to a point to where we're not eclipsed as long or at all that'd be kind of cool so just kind of browse here a little bit see what we can find we have a GPS way coordinate to head back so that's gonna be pretty cool so we'll have a way to get back yeah I figure we go up over this mountain range right over here that's on our horizon and see what's there and then uh, take it from there see what see what we can do uh, these trees are a problem um, that's how we ended up getting stuck is I was doing pretty good and uh, smacked a tree, ripped a wheel off, and the whole chassis hit the ground. So it's repairable by all. Oh, yeah, it's definitely repairable. But it's not a very good start. I mean, it's like going to go get some milk at the grocery store and backing out of the driveway and getting a flat tire. It's just not a great way to start. So, all right, so. It looks pretty passable up until about here. I mean, this this large mountain on our left is obviously not passable. All right, so I'm going to use my larger thrusters to pick up some speed here. There we go. Yeah, this is where we'd have to stop and have to, we'd have to use atmospheric thrusters yet again just to get it to this point. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice. I don't know if anybody else is, uh, that is playing has set up in a region where, like I'm talking about, with at one of the north or south poles to where this, as the sun rotates around, you're less eclipsed or eclipsed less often. If you can, leave comments below. I'm interested in hearing what other people have come across. Um, Aaron with Last End Gamers posted a video today, and uh, it is about <laughs> trying to drill to the center of the planet, and it is actually not feasible. You get about s a little over 7,000 meters down, and whatever craft you're using just vanishes. Uh, he's tried throwing uh, warheads, and they vanish, and then he had a drilling craft that just 
vanished as soon as it reached that that uh, invisible plane. So that's kind of cool. They have something in there so you can't drill to the core of the planet. He had a uh, pretty cool idea of using like a uh, a pass through, like a planetary pass through. Uh, there was a pretty cool movie about that, where people literally went through the core of the planet in a tram. And as they come out the other side, there's a point where gravity actually switches on them, and they have to uh, use artificial gravity at one point to dampen the field. Alright, so we're moving along pretty good. I mean, good thing for the speed boost, because this would take an exceptionally long time without that. It's our altitude. We're up here pretty high. And we're starting to see stars pretty early on. Alright, so let's get this rolled back around. My frames are dropping pretty hardcore. It does not try like traveling this fast and generating terrain. So I'm not sure how well it's going to the planet crawler is going to do as a non-crawler. So this will be interesting. All right. So what I want to do now is kind of get into a hovering pattern. Air brake here. I'll fall out of the sky. Alright. So let's turn around. See, the sun's there. I almost feel as though we're going towards the wrong pole. That the sun is closer to the other pole. Or we need to go that direction. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up the video here. I'm going to do some more scouting and see if I can uh, figure out what direction we should be going to set this uh, mythological base up that I'm talking about. Where's the moon at? There it is. Hmm. Well, we could also set up a, <laughs> a moon base, but the Amelia is in orbit. We should, if we're going into orbit, we should be headed towards the Amelia, so we can go ahead to one of these other planets. Wait to see uh, which way the sun's going. Pretty sure it's going that direction. Interesting. Yeah, I want to hear your guys' comments. See, I want to set up, like, if we were on a planet, I want to set up right there where that ice cap is on the bottom. On this thing. We just need to find out where that is. Because we are, wow, we are a long ways from home. We are 60,000 meters from home. All right, so uh, yeah, as I said in the comments, uh, or leave comments below if you guys know anything about if there is a actual cap, a polar cap on this thing, and if so, you know, is it obtainable to get a, a decent amount of sunlight at that location? 
I'm guessing there'll probably be limited resources there because you're going to get a lot of power. So, I don't know. Kind of trade-offs, I guess. Wow. Frame rates. Coming in hot. Doesn't seem like it with the frame drop, but we are freaking clipping along. There we go. All right, we're going to park it here. And uh, yeah, this is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.